All right, this is going to be a very super quick little review of how to use EasyBib to come up with a bibliography entry. And so um, very simply, you would take your website address and copy it. So if this was the article, and of course these need to be reputable articles, so actual businesses or companies we've heard of uh, with the real authors and a date. If it doesn't have an author and a date and a title, it's probably just something random. So, all right, you're going to go to EasyBib. And you can just paste it in. It's a website, so be sure you're on website. Click Cite It. It's going to gather information, and it should, it'll should it try to find what it can. So it found some. So this is the article. That is the correct article. I'm going to click Cite This. Finally, it tells you that it finds all of these things, but it didn't find the publisher. Now, to be honest, if you have an author, you really don't have to have a publisher, especially if they have the website title and the author. So we would continue to the final step. If we could find a publisher, which, I mean, the publisher is going to be ABC News as well. So since it would be the same thing, I'm not going to put it in there. Um, it tells you what day it was published and what day that I accessed it because that's needed. And when you click Create Citation, it will give you then the citation. And that's what you would copy and paste. So very simple. Let's do one more. I'll go back to the Start page. We'll take another one. Again, copy it in there. Paste in the URL. Click Cite It. See if that's the right one. Click Cite This, check it out, website title, article title. Always double check, make sure the article title is right. Um, publisher, electronically published, author. This has all of the information that it needs, but it'll still take me to this page in case there's something I need to change. And I have had some where it got the author's names like backwards or something like that. So always double check it and see. Um, all right, click Create Citation, and then finally you're going to have that perfect citation ready to paste onto whatever you're using. And in our case, it will be a PowerPoint slide uh, for our reference slide. So there you go.